Installing a multi-function tiller handle on a MFS 2530D, Tohatsu offers a multi-function tiller handle that may be installed on remote models of the MFS 2530D. To determine if the multi-function tiller handle will fit your application, please refer to the multi-function tiller installation manual for dimensions and angle limitations regarding your boat dimensions. Before beginning your installation, it is important to verify that the battery is disconnected. Your outboard needs to be mounted either on a boat transom or a motor stand. Installing a friction lever. Instructions for installing the friction lever are listed after the tiller handle installation. We find it easier to install without the tiller handle impeding your workspace. The multifunction tiller handle installation manual includes a schematic of the friction lever installation. Throughout this process, do not apply grease to the washers or discs. First, install item 8, the plate, with number 5, the two supplied bolts, onto the tilt bracket. Select item 6, which is a bolt, or also known as a stud, and add a small amount of marine grease to the threaded end, but not covering the keyed end. Thread the stud into item 7, the friction lever bracket, with the keyed end on top, so that 25 millimeters of the stud remains exposed, or so that the bottom of the stud is flush with the friction lever bracket. Select one of item 4, a disc, and insert onto the friction lever bracket. We will refer to this piece as the stud bracket assembly. The motor should be in a centered position. Select the other disc and align it with the steering bracket hole between the steering shaft and the plate. Insert the new stud bracket assembly through the plate into the steering bracket hole from the bottom, making sure that the keyed end is inserted first. You should now have both discs touching the plate. While holding the stud bracket assembly in place from the bottom, install item 9, clear washer, onto the stud. Install item 3, friction lever, on top of the clear washer with the red end facing toward the bow. Install item 2, metal washer, on top of the friction lever. Thread item 1, nylon nut, on top of the metal washer. Tighten nut to secure the friction lever. Friction lever adjustment and operation. Move the friction lever toward the starboard side and tighten the nylon nut to adjust maximum friction. To prevent the nylon nut from loosening, tighten the nut until one thread of the bolt can be seen above the nut. Move the friction lever toward the port side and check if the outboard motor steers smoothly. Installing the multifunction tiller handle. Remove the two bolts from the remote control stay cover, the entire stay cover, and the upper grommet. Remove the control cable clip. Remove the wiring harness cover. Set all parts to the side. Install the supplied stud bolts, installing the short threaded end to the steering shaft. Install the multifunction tiller handle assembly onto the stud bolts and secure with the supplied nylon nuts and washers. Run the main wiring harness through the lower grommet. Make sure you have enough length to connect to the engine harness, but do not connect yet. Secure the main wiring harness with the original cable clip and bolt, which was removed in a previous step. Run the shift and throttle cables through the upper grommet and temporarily install them by aligning them with the cable clip grooves. The next step is to adjust the shift and throttle cables. Place the shift lever of the multifunction tiller handle in the neutral position. The shift lever cannot work unless the throttle is fully closed on the throttle grip. Do not force the shift lever into position. Move the shift arm on the engine to forward, neutral, reverse, and then back to neutral. The multifunction tiller handle installation requires cable joints that are supplied in the outboard motor box. Screw the cable joints to the cable ends to the throttle and shift cables by approximately 0.39 inches or 10 millimeters, the equivalent of nine threads. Adjust the cable joint of the shift and throttle cables so that the holes of the cable joints align with the shift and throttle arm pins. Install the shift and throttle arm pins through the cable joint holes. Lock both cable joints with the supplied nuts and secure with the supplied washers and R-pins. The throttle R-pin should be installed from the top downward, and the shift R-pin should be installed in a bow to stern orientation. Reinstall the upper grommet and the remote control stay cover with the two original bolts. Check the multifunction tiller handle shift lever for proper operation. Verify that the shift arm is in neutral position and that the propeller shaft freely spins. Shift into forward position, and verify that the propeller shaft no longer freely spins. Shift back to neutral and verify that the propeller shaft freely spins again. Shift into reverse and verify that the propeller shaft no longer freely spins. Adjust the cable joint positioning in the case of improper operation. To check full throttle function, 
turn the throttle lever on the multifunction tiller handle to full throttle position and confirm that the throttle arm touches the stopper on the crankcase. If you see a gap when the throttle lever is in full throttle, that means the throttle cable must be adjusted. To adjust, uninstall the throttle cable joint, realign the cable joint hole and arm pin, reinstall the washer and arm pin, and then complete throttle check again. Connect the main wiring harness from the multifunction tiller handle to the outboard main wiring harness. Reinstall the wiring harness cover. Spacer installation. Your multifunction tiller handle comes standard with additional spacers to provide a higher angle if desired, though not required. To increase the angle of your multifunction tiller handle, install the spacers and bolts according to the chart and schematic included in the installation manual. If this is a new outboard installation, it is important to follow your outboard's regular break and procedure and maintenance schedule according to the guidelines in your owner's manual. Your authorized Tohatsu dealer is there to assist with any questions you might have. We hope you enjoy your time on the water. See it. Hear it. Feel the wind.